On today's episode of the 360 Daily Show, find out what Savage and Fenty are cooking up, which of your favorite celebrities were spotted over the weekend, what new beauty product Wet n Wild is set to release, what the Italian fashion industry has to say about the low salary accusation, and who our exclusive guest of the day is. As part of the iconic American brand's extended celebration of its 50th anniversary, Ralph Lauren has announced the launch of an app aiming to build a community for the label's fans, as well as an upcoming collaboration with the New York Yankees. Dubbed Polo, the free app allows users to shop featured and limited edition merchandise while also giving them access to other exclusive content. The platform will host editorial features as well as an Ask Ralph section that gives the brand's fans a chance to post questions for its eponymous designer, a selection of which will be answered by the man himself every week. Fans can also decide which polo bear will be put on on the brand's sweater, already up and running up until September 30th. Brand management company Sequential Brands Group Inc. has launched a collaborative capsule collection between its yoga and wellness brand Giam and actress, producer and activist Jessica Biel. This is Giam's first celebrity created line as part of the brand's multi-year contract with Biel. The brand debuted the collection at the One Hotel Brooklyn Bridge in New York City where an interactive pop-up shop allowed visitors to see the collection's capri, leggings, tops and jackets. Color comes in ranges of pink, gray and sands with ox blood accents, marble prints and monochrome. The partnership marks yet another instance of brand engaging in active design collaborations with the ambassadors, allowing celebrities to go behind the scenes of capsule productions in addition to being in front of the camera. A model seen in the recent appointment of Michael B. Jordan as Coach's Global Menswear Ambassador and Banana Republic's release of a collaborative capsule with Kevin Love. In another vertically integrated business move by singer and businesswoman Rihanna, her Savage and Beauty lingerie label has launched an exclusive collection to benefit the Clara Lionel Foundation, the entertainer's non-profit organization. The limited edition three-piece sleepwear capsule consists of a lightweight cutting tank top, a rose gold logo band bikini, matching cutting pouch, and a satin robe. The collection will also feature a new logo meant to bring the two collaborators, Savage and Fancy, and the foundation together. Profits from the collection will go to the CLF, which the singer founded in 2012 to support education and emergency response program around the world. The nonprofit regularly aids low-income countries by awarding scholarships and grants to students and funding healthcare advancements. Paul Surridge's plans for Roberto Cavalli are becoming ever clearer. Having taken over as a brand's creative director a year ago, the British designer unveiled on Saturday a women's wear collection for the spring-summer 2019 that was at once versatile and dynamic, updating the ingredients that made the Florentine fashion house successful for the taste of today's consumers. This meant sensual outfits, luxurious materials, skilled craftsmanship, and a touch of glamour, all remixed with a more modern, sporty vibe. Aside from long dresses and trench coats in printed or silvered silk, the Roberto Cavalli silhouette for the next summer is super short and revealing. The runway hosted a succession of colorful shorts, ultra tight draped effect mini dresses, plunging necklines, uncovered shoulders, long sleeve blouses knotted at the chest to reveal exposed midriffs and dresses slits at the side. Spotted out and about looking absolutely fantastic, we have Kanye West who made the most of his Chicago homecoming week by capping it off with a visit to the mound with his son, Saint. Ye and Saint were outside to throw out the first pitch Sunday for Game 3 of the Chicago Cubs and White Sox series at Guaranteed Rate Field. Up next, we have Demi Lovato who looks relaxed and happy on Sunday as she exercised her day pass from her rehab facility nearly two months to the day after her near fatal overdose. The former Disney star was chatting up a lady with a cute pop, coffee in hand, and a big grin on her face. Northwest had a distinctly Michael Jackson vibe Saturday as she marched down the runway at a celebrity fashion show in Santa Monica. The five-year-old daughter of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West made her modeling debut at the LOL Surprise Fashion Show in Santa Monica. She wore what looks like a thriller getup as she walked the runway. 2018 is almost over and Fenty Beauty definitely didn't come to play. A new Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color is now available. You can snag on Ville a rich chocolate brown color online for $24 at Sephora and Fenty Beauty. As for when you can purchase it in stores, October 1st is the date you'll want to mark just so you don't miss out before it's completely sold out. 
Urban Decay's latest collection launched exclusively on their website on Saturday morning, and all the previews look nothing short of expectations. The new collection has eight new products just waiting to help you get a sweet look focused on shades of red and pink. The most highly anticipated launch in the collection has to be the Naked Cherry Eyeshadow Palettes. The 12 shades include Hot Spots, Caution, Bang Bang, Feels, Juicy, and more funky names and shades. Up next, we have called domestic brand Wet n Wild, and they teased a new product called Mega Glow Body Luminizer on its Instagram story. In it, three models are shown applying it to their shoulders after shaking up the bottled mixture. The Instagram post also indicated that three shades will be launched on September the 27th. According to the brand, the shades are called Heart of Rose Gold, Gold Rush, and Invested in Bronze. The latter two are vegan, and they are cruelty and gluten free, as well as paraben free. The lightweight buildable formula has micro fine pearl pigments that create a luminous effect at the intensity of your choice, moisturizing your skin with argan, macadamia, passion fruit seed, grapefruit seed, and sunflower seed oils. Today on the 360 Daily Show, we have media personality Tenny Zakios on the show with us today. Aside from being brand ambassador for a major whiskey brand, I also deal with music and entertainment. Um, my name is TZ DRB from DRB Las Giddy. Uh, with Budge on the microphone and Freshel, Mr. Sons. I'm also part owner in Native Magazine and Native Land. That happens every December. We have a festival in Murio Kuala Park and it's a youth magazine for African millennials all over the world. I would describe my style as very casual. Um, I think I like African prints a lot. I think like African traditional attire is probably the most comfortable. And, uh, you know, captain, Agbata, stuff like that. That's why I enjoy it. I didn't stop rapping full time. Um, yeah, you can call it a creative break because I was definitely flexing other creative muscles, dealing with different things. Obviously, you know about Jameson over the last two years, the growth that's happened with that, and obviously with Native. And uh, I was still in the studio, you know, still making tracks, working with my guys, and expect a DRB album this year for sure. I say I don't really, I'm not really one to follow fashion or fashion trends. I mean, I like being stylish, but I think that's more of natural style. I just wear what I like. I don't follow like what's cool or what's popping. But um, I think that's what makes you original. Like that's fashion to me. It's just being as original and natural as possible. The major perks of being a brand ambassador is uh, usually I get free drinks. So uh, most of the time, if you go out with me, I'm probably the one that's going to foot the bill for drinks and if I have to host and entertain people or gift people, I always have free drinks available. So I think that's been very useful in terms of growing whatever it is I've been trying to do. Fashion means individuality, fashion means style, fashion is a way of life, fashion is integrated into a lot of things that we do and especially in Nigeria, fashion is very important like down to the bread seller to the CEOs in bank. You can see Nigerians take fashion very seriously and I think that's why that industry is growing very fast in today's economy. I think Rihanna is the best ambassador Barbados has to offer so that's a good move on her part and the country's part. So one weird thing most people don't know about me, I can't ride a bicycle. Yes, I think that's strange because everybody thinks everybody can ride bikes but I can't. What's up everybody? It's your boy TZ and I am here on the 360 Daily Show. Welcome back to the show guys. Our first social media star of the week is a pretty girl called Bria Dior. The fashion influencer is known for her stylish posts on Instagram and her style. Bria is true to herself and her style. Not only does she encourage you to become more comfortable in your skin, she'll teach you a lot of ways to pair your clothing items. The model, actress and entrepreneur has over 50k followers who keep up with her. First off, on the editorial segment, we have Gigi Hadid, and she lands the September 2018 cover of Vogue Brazil. Photographed by Luigi and Iango, the supermodel wears a dress and top from Prada's fall collection. Inside the fashion glossy, Gigi rocks big teased hair inspired by rockabilly style. The blonde poses in the studio wearing a mix of denim, coats, and sweaters. Pedro Sale styles the shoots with hair by Luigi Moreno and makeup by Erin Parsons. Natasha Poli takes the spotlight on the September 21st, 2018 cover of Elle France. Lensed by Liz Collins, the Russian stunner wears a Gucci sweater, lace top and pants with an heiress bra. For the accompanying spread, Natasha embraces the fall trends. Styled by Ginelle Bolt, the blonde wears standout designs. 
Anastasia Chekri takes on tailored styles for the September 2018 issue of Harper's Bazaar, Mexico. Led by Vladimir Marti, the Brunei model heads to the studio in chic looks. Stylist Daniel Gonzalez Elizondo selects a mix of printed suits, leather skirts, and Sherlin coats. Anastasia wears pieces from the likes of Kenzo, Stella McCartney, and Saint Laurent. Now, Rihanna has been appointed as official ambassador of Barbados. Now, it is safe to say that Rihanna's forthcoming reggae album might be the last we see of her as a musician. The Barbadian beauty has so much going on for her, and we are more than excited about the woman she has to become. The 30-year-old has been appointed ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary of her home country of Barbados. In a statement released by the Barbados government's information office, Riri's new role as ambassador entails being responsible for promoting education, tourism, and investment the island. Rihanna, when accepting her new duty, said, I couldn't be more proud to take on such a prestigious title in my home country. Every Barbadian is going to have to play their role in this current effort and I am ready and excited to take on the responsibility. I look forward to working with Prime Minister Motley and her team to reimagine Barbados. Speaking on why the star was given the role, Prime Minister Motley said, Rihanna has a deep love for this country and this is reflected in her philanthropy, especially in the areas of health and education. She also showed shows her patriotism in the way that she gives back to this country and continues to treasure the island as her home. Now, I think there's no one more deserving of this honor than Rihanna because I, I don't think there's been any other breakout Barbadian star that has reached the level that Rihanna has reached in, in, in terms of uh, music, in terms of fashion, and in terms of entrepreneurship as a whole. And we want to congratulate Rihanna on getting that you know, title and we hope that she uses it to push Barbados more. Michelle Obama is about to launch her stadium tour, which should rival any rock band, but she has a much more intimate side hustle, officiating weddings. The former first lady did the honor Saturday in Chicago for Stephanie Rifkin and Joel Circus. The bride's pop is the deputy mayor of Chicago, and as you know, Michelle has deep roots in Chi-Town. Michelle will hit 10 US cities for her stadium tour to launch the sale of her memoir, Becoming. The price of admission is crazy. It starts at $30, with the top price of three thousand dollars for a pre-show meet and greets. Now I cannot think of a former first lady who's cashing out as Michelle is because she's doing everything. She's writing books, she's doing stadium tours, and she's writing memoirs. She's, uh, you know, appearing on talk shows and so many things. She seems to be having more fun post her husband's tenure than she did in the White House. And I think I definitely agree with that. A pity I'm not going to be around at those times, you know, how to work in Lagos and everything. Otherwise, I would have been at the stadium to meet and greet her. But for $3,000, it's pretty steep. And, uh, you know, good luck to those who will do that. And up next, we had the spicy or not segments. Now, celebrities came out on Mars for the premiere of AY's new movie titled Merry Men. And the dress code for the night was hashtag Agbada Challenge. Let's see who and what some of our favorite celebrities and stars wore to the event. Up first, we have Aike Ogbonna, Yomi Casual, and Alex Ekubo. The three Agbada Musketeers, as we like to refer to them as, look like the chairholders of the Yoruba Demon Association in the Agbada, made by Yomi Casual himself. At number three, we have Tony Abraham, and the Nollywood actress who went for something less Agbada like in a two flip side jumpsuit by her personal stylist and designer Tolu Bali. We had the man himself, AY, and the man of the night came through in an Agbada set we believe was made by Yomi Casual. We have Ramsey Noor, who came through in a bedazzled all-black number. We have Uriel Oputa. The former Big Brother housemate was dressed to the tee with this one. She came through in an Agbada made by House of Ashoke and accessorized with a walking stick, cap, and dark shades. <laughs> And for our movie trailer, we have a movie titled Bad Times at El Royale, and that movie is directed by Drew Goddard. The film stars Jeff Bridges, Cynthia Erivo, Dakota Johnson, John Hamm, Kaylee Spenny, Lewis Pullman, Nick Offerman, and Chris Hemsworth. The movie follows seven strangers who each are hiding dark secrets that come to a head on one night in a shady hotel. According to Wikipedia, the movie will premiere at the Fantastic Fest on September 27, 2018, and is scheduled to be released in the United States on October 12, 2018. Now, um, the cast of that movie is quite interesting especially Chris Hemsworth, and, uh, but you know, when I see movies that have this plot, I'm not too sure about it, but I will be sure to check it out, and you can as well, and make sure you leave comments about the movie when it comes out on our social media platforms. Right, wrong. 
God or no God? Red or black? I've done horrible things. So does everybody. Shit happens. Get the whiskey. Okay guys, unfortunately we have come to the end of this episode of the 360 Daily Show. Remember to keep up with all the gist online. Our website is www.myspice.tv and our social media handle is at Spice TV Africa. And do not forget you can keep up with me personally as well. I am at the official Esther across all social media platforms. And until next time, this has been the 360 Daily Show. I gotta go, but I will definitely see you soon.